1922 it was a good year for a few. There was the NFL team, the Milwaukee Badgers, and gas was just 11 cents per gallon. Speaking of a good year, that is when Carlene Staffaroni was born. Andrea Williams is with the birthday girl. They are in Brookfield at the Red Mill Inn. We love a birthday party. <laughs> Yes, a party it is, and actually it doesn't start till another half hour or so, but there are family and friends here ready to celebrate Miss Stefaroni, Stefaroni, and 101 today. How's it feel? Like I'm 150. <laughs> And uh, everyone here tells me that she's got quite the sense of humor as well. Can you show everybody those pretty nails while we're at it? Those, those fingernails, those fingernails. Wow. Plus <laughs> this <laughs> she your works nails, your, your nail polish, absolutely. I'm here with two of her sons, and this is Michael Staffaroni. And Michael, your mom at 101 has lived quite a great life. Uh, just a few things. She was a candy striper during World War II, right? She was a candy striper. She was a USO hostess, uh, like a lot of women of her time, uh, doing their part uh, for the war effort. And she was always involved in the community. Uh, she was a den mother, a Christian mother, uh, PTA. She, she did whatever she could to help uh, with the community and with the family. Yeah, and family, uh, a big thing for you. Your mom and dad were together for many, many years. And just to give us an idea of what love at first sight is, they married after just 13 days, right? 13 days, yes. And uh, <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that's a testament to a love at first sight. Yeah. They were married for 60 years. Wow. And so until my dad passed in 2007. Well, quite the lady here. And we're at the Red Mill Inn here in Brookfield. And uh, this place has been around since the 1840s. And so you came here as a teenager, you said. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I stayed downstairs. <laughs> For those of you who know, uh, this place has morphed into many things over the years, and we won't talk about what upstairs was, uh, Miss Stafferoni. I didn't go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. What life advice do you have for people who are at home watching? You're at 101 years young. What can we all do so we can see 101? What am I going to do with that? I'm 101. I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> Well, you guys, <laughs> you really are a hoot. And you've got your caregiver right behind you. So these oh. are people that you love all here to celebrate you. Hey, girlfriend. Oh, oh. I, I, and I got my uh, kids behind me. Oh. Nick <laughs> yes, there's a lot of love in this room. And like I said, the party hasn't even gotten started yet. When we talk a little bit more about uh, just her and all that she's done in life, what are your fondest memories growing up with your mom and dad? Well, she has seen a lot, but we always did things as a family. Everything we do as a family, and they had such a great relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, my brothers and I are always really grateful for the upbringing that we had because it was a tight family unit. We didn't have a lot of money. My dad was a, a police officer, city of Milwaukee. And so we didn't have a lot of money, but uh, we, we always had a good time. Yeah, and I can tell you're still having a good time. And one thing about it, when you talk about life lessons and somebody giving you advice, what's the greatest advice you receive from this young lady? <laughs> uh, generally, it was stay out of trouble, but that's kind of a, a, a broad stroke. Uh, but that's, those are probably good words to live by. Absolutely. Uh, Miss Carlene. Staffaroni, happiest of birthdays to you from all your friends at TMJ4 and everybody out there watching. Happy, happy birthday. Back to you guys in the studio. Hey, well, you are 101. You can do what you want, say what you want, so enjoy that drink. <laughs> Absolutely. <the> <laughs>